Okay, so I'm doing social studies, history and economics. And I'm doing biology, chemistry and physics. You see, we're trying to choose our uni courses and I've chosen that, business studies. That's my first choice. What are you doing that for? Uh, so I can get a job. Uh, in a boring office as a human photocopier? Uh, no, idiot. To make loads of money. Yeah? Yeah, why? What have you chosen? Look here. Ah, woohoo, yeah, I get you. I know what that is. You want to be like some mad scientist chopping up rats to make little rat maybe monsters with seven eyes and Wayne Rooney's hair. I'm right, aren't I? Uh, no, funnily enough. Why would you want to do that? Because it's important. Yeah, making money is important. I know this sounds cheesy, but I want to change people's lives. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> not really. <laughs> you can with genetic engineering. I'll bet you okay. whatever you want to bet. Sure, you want to bet? Yeah. What you got for steaks? Okay, whatever's in here. A smelly gym kit and a can of Lynx Africa, no thanks. Uh, no, something really nice, something that you will like a lot. Oh, I'll show us then. No. D Is this for me? You made it. For me. <sighs> I had no idea you felt that way about Oh, me. no, 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 I don't. <laughs> Honestly, uh, this is proper embarrassing. All right, then, here's the bet. You convince me that genetic engineering is amazing and you get to keep the cake. But if you don't and I win, what do I get if I win? Well, you'll have to wait and see about that. Ah, OK. I am going to win. First amazing thing about genetics. Manipulating the genetic makeup of crops, scientists can make them stronger, more resilient to pests and disease, and produce more of the fruits, seeds and oils that we grow them for. There are 6.7 billion people in the world. Nearly 1 billion of them are starving. If we don't make the best use of our food, there's no way we'll be able to feed everybody. So you put genes from one thing into another? Yeah, to improve them. Bit dodgy in it. How come? Well, I heard scientists want to stop caterpillars eating crops, so they take venom genes from scorpions, inject them into the plants, and then when the caterpillars eat them, they're poisoned. Funny man. No, seriously, it makes you think. What if we eat those plants here? What's going to happen to us? That's what. Just let me explain it again. The truth is, the venom is taken out of the scorpion and put into the virus, and the virus injected into the crops. The virus only kills the caterpillar, but not us. Yeah, but, 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 you keep making all these genetically engineered viruses, and what if something goes wrong and they get into something else? Scary, yeah? You could end up with scorpion flu, or wheat flu, or something. Turning us all into scorpions. Yeah, maybe. Hey, it could happen. Listen, I'm just saying, I don't like it. It's wrong. It, it's messing with nature and the ecosystem. But it gets tested really rigorously before it goes out. And less pesticide is used, so better for the environment. And, you'll like this, it means that farmers can grow more crops, which means they make more money. Ah, see, now you're talking my language. Second reason why genetics is amazing. Wait, wait, wait. So, you think you can cure cancer, then? Why not? Well, no one's managed it so far. Which is all the more reason why I should try. It's not just about finding cures, it's just as much as about finding treatments. Like what? Let's say I want to treat diabetes. Diabetics need insulin. So I get the insulin-producing gene from a human cell, put it into bacteria, and when the bacteria reproduce, ta-da! You've got thousands and thousands of copies of the gene. Same principle for human growth hormone. What, to help little people grow? Yeah, it's a good thing. OK, maybe you should take it then. <laughs> you really are hilarious. <laughs> Listen, it's not as easy as... I mean, right, you want to be Miss Goody Two-Shoes, yeah, and save the world. But if you do genetics, you won't exactly be able to stay whiter than white, ethically. Meaning? 
Meaning, you know, you have to make tough choices. What tough choices? Um... Precisely. Have you heard of Oncomouse? No. OK, well, I read about him, yeah? It has a gene in it which gives it cancer so they can try and find a cure. But if I had cancer, I'd want them to do whatever they could to find a cure. Yeah, no, so would I. But your body might react to stuff different to a mouse's. Well, cancer's cancer, whatever creature you are. Like my granny says, you can't make an omelette without cracking a few eggs. Yeah, but it's a mouse, not an egg. <laughs> do you not think he's got rights too? But you can save lives. It's not ideal, but... But you think it's worth it? Maybe. Yeah. Bye, Mouse. Why are you looking so pleased with yourself? Oh, well, I reckon I've muddied the water a bit. Showing you that genetics is in all that. And uh, I reckon winning's well within reach. So you think you've won? Well, you know, I've shown you that genetics ain't all it's cracked up to be. You can give me my prize now if you like. You reckon that's what your prize is? Yeah, I'm hoping so. Go on, give me a kiss. Go on, right there. Go on, do it. Sorry, mate, but you're going to have to work harder than that. You might have raised some issues, but after uni, I'll still be treating serious illnesses. Curing diseases and helping feed the world. I'd say that was pretty amazing. Yeah, it's quite good. Quite good? Yeah, but there's one thing you ain't considered. Your friends at the biotech firms ain't the saints you'd like them to be. See, I have been doing research on the old internet. Want to see what I found? I don't want to see what you watch on the internet, Pete. Feast your mincers on that. Every time a biotech firm decodes a gene, they whack a patent on it. Which is what? Well, it's kind of like putting a copyright on something so other firms can't copy it and they make a fortune. But it's not as if they invented it. You can't own a gene. Yeah, well, if they spend all that money investing in the research, it's not fair if some mug comes along and then takes that and makes a fortune. Can't blame them for that. Yeah, but it's tight putting patents on genes. The research should be used for the good of everyone. Not just to make fat cats like you money. I'm not fat. We'll be keep chowing down on those. You're just gutted because the firms you want to work for are just as much about profit as the ones I want to work for. I don't want to be here anymore. I've got to go. I don't really want to talk to you. Why, because you know I'm so close to winning? No. Well, maybe you got me thinking. I like the idea of doing genetics, but it depends what for, you know? I get what you're saying about messing about with genes, that it feels wrong, but I think it's all right for medical reasons. Even if it uses cute little mice? I'm cool with that. OK. You must hate that it makes cash for such big companies. Yeah, they shouldn't be allowed to patent genes. You know, there is one thing you said that I liked. One thing? OK, yeah, maybe more than one thing. I can see how genetics can be used for some good. Like, did you see that thing last week on cystic fibrosis? Well, basically, they said that they can give people a good gene to replace the bad one that doesn't work and cure them. But the best bit was that that good gene will then be passed on to their children, meaning cystic fibrosis will be gone forever. Now, that's got to be a good thing. But what if it goes too far and people want all their imperfections cured? You'd have a world where everyone's a clone. I wish we didn't start this stupid bet. I was happy doing genetics before. Well, I guess there's only one thing for it, then. What's that? We are going to have to eat this whole cake while you think everything over. <laughs> uh, wait, I don't have a knife. <laughs> nice. Mm.